With spring high school sports very much in full swing, the Grand Ledge Boys Lacrosse team is one area team that looks poised for a deep tournament run in May. And the Comets are building on two very successful seasons to do just that. News 10 Sports' Joey Ellis explains. Two years ago, the Grand Ledge Boys Lacrosse program had never reached a state quarterfinal. But now off back-to-back -back Elite Eight losses, the Comets' mindset this year is different. Our offseason last year, coming off our loss to Heartland, the quarterfinal was intense, and this one was even better. Everything has gone up this year. The intensity, the sense of urgency, it's been really good to watch. Now, Michael Transit's program has rapidly rose to one of the more formidable teams in the state, and a lot of that stems from the kids Transit gets to work with. I think it's the players taking ownership of the program. I think that's kind of really been the big difference. The players have really taken control of the program. Like They have to interview now in the offseason. They have to go through an offseason observation process. They have to go through an in-season observation process, and we've become a player-led team so it's really good. One of those leaders is four-year starter and Monmouth commit Landon Parker who's been a key cog of each of the last two quarterfinal runs. He's seen what has to go into a deep playoff run and has taken a larger role now this year in helping his team get back there. When I started out my freshman year I mean you come into it from middle school, you're a little immature, coming into it as a joke, but you realize very quickly, I mean, this is a real thing, it's a real sport, it's very intense, so I've grown to want to be that leader and want to be that guy everyone's looking up to and want to be that guy that helps everyone out and gets the team better. Transith has arguably his most talented team yet, with four of his five seniors playing Division I or two lacrosse next spring. Parker is a Player of the Year candidate, as is junior Tyson Cooper, who's already committed to play at Michigan. In applying lessons learned from previous postseason losses, now his third time around in a Comets jersey. It takes four quarters of uh, solid playing, and uh, we started off hot, but just fell off and working in practice when we're tired, making sure we get four quarters of solid grand ledges across is what will get it done. And Grant Ledge has loaded up its schedule this year with hopes of becoming more battle-tested and more familiar with teams they may run into in the postseason as the Comets zero in on the last of their three program hurdles. The big thing this year is we've already got the first two. Now we have to get the final one. we got to get over the mountain hub. Like we have a conference championship on our belt. We've got two regionals. Now we got to get the final trophy because there's only two trophies for lacrosse and state tournaments. So we've got one. Now we want the second one. In Grand Ledge, Joey Ellis, News 10 Sports. Right now the Comets are 11-1-0 and play Ovid Elsie tomorrow evening.